Millions of people use ChatGPT and Google Bard, but only a select few know how to maximize their full potential. If you want to be a part of that elite group, you're in luck because we put together seven AI prompts that will level up your content. Plus, we'll compare ChatGPT and Bard's results so you can see which AI is best for your specific content and which one is more suitable for your daily needs. Hi everyone, and welcome to AI Marketing and Creator Tools, where we showcase the latest innovations in AI and how you can use them to make smarter content. As marketers and content creators, we know how demanding it is to be continuously making content, especially when we're feeling burnt out. But we don't really have a choice because we need more and more content to grow and stay relevant these days. Well, good news for us, AI tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard can do the heavy lifting. AI usually can't get the job done well enough on its own and still needs a little human touch, but together you'll be unstoppable. So today, we'll show you our favorite prompts for marketing and content creation, and whether ChatGPT or Google Bard is the best. If you want to learn more about their differences, this video is linked in the description, so check it out after this one. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and turn on notifications for more upcoming AI prompts and content creation tips. First prompt on our list solves one of the biggest problems for marketers and content creators today. Almost every social media platform demands frequent videos for building brand awareness and attracting new customers and subscribers, especially short form content. To really grow with short form, you have to post ideally once a day, if not more. If only there was an easier way to come up with fresh ideas. Well, your wish is my command. This first prompt creates engaging content for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram, and the bracketed parts are what you can customize to fit your own needs or niche. So I asked Bard and ChatGPT, you are starting a YouTube channel in name of industry. Your target audience is audience info, who your audience is motivation. Based on viral short form content in the space, please generate 30 unique and engaging short form video content ideas and provide scripts for the first five. Each script needs to include a hook at the start of the video to draw the viewer in and pique curiosity. A hook is the first sentence spoken and should instantly pose a question they'll want answered or by giving them a piece of information that will make them want to watch. Each video needs to be under 180 words. Notice how you tell the AI what your channel is about, your audience, and your audience's motivations. The more relevant info you give them, the better your results. ChatGPT and Bard both suggested good topics, but ChatGPT only gave me five video ideas, even though I asked for 30. Plus, the scripts for each video were incomplete. Bard did a much better job at responding to key details, like identifying the bullet points of each script, and it even gave me a word count at the bottom. So for short form ideas, I'd recommend using Google Bard. All right, moving on to the next category, I focused on making the perfect caption for Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. For anyone who spent a ton of time trying to come up with that perfect social media caption only to erase it and start all over, this next prompt is for you. I asked, write five to eight word captions for Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok on my topic keywords meant to capture my target audience who are interested in the topics I'm covering. It might take a few generations to find a caption you like, but a lot of the options were better than what I could come up with on my own. And if you upload your image to Bard, it actually analyzes it to come up with the perfect caption. But because of Google's terms and conditions, this feature only works if there aren't any people in the picture. All right, now let's shift our focus to long form content and what better way to kick things off than by brainstorming some YouTube videos like the one you're watching now. Long form videos are useful for brands and creators alike because brands need to tutorials and how-tos, and creators can use them to make money. And who knows, this prompt could turn you into the next Mr. Beast. The process is simple. Come up with an idea, write a script, put some video footage together, and boom, you have your very own YouTube video. But the hard part is coming up with a video idea in the first place that has a better chance of going viral. So I used the prompt, you are a creative consultant for my niche, YouTuber, based on their target audience of my target audience, and their previously successful themes of their previous successful themes, please generate three unique video content ideas and a brief script for one of them. ChatGPT and Google Bard each gave video ideas that would get me to click in a heartbeat. But with Bard, each video idea came with more of a script outline and didn't really help me write the script itself. ChatGPT did a much better job at listening to directions. It focused on one script and gave a pretty detailed prompt outline that I could build off of. But the task at hand was coming up with creative ideas, so I'd say this round was a tie. 
And if you like these prompts so far, you'll love our Jasper AI prompt guide filled with over 500 prompts for any task you can think of. It's linked in the description along with a seven day free trial of Jasper. Coming up with ideas is fantastic, but let's not forget about the part that's often overlooked staying organized. That's why we love using this next prompt to make our own content calendars. A content calendar is an awesome tool to stay on top of your video production goals and ensure you're always on track. But sometimes talking about scheduling is way easier than actually making it happen, so let's change that. I use the prompt, write a content calendar for the next, my time frame for my blog, YouTube channel, social media platform, etc. It should include a mix of number of short form and number of long form videos. Each piece of content should have number of bullet points and a summary of what value the content should provide. I want this content to focus on the current purpose of my content, i.e. to go viral, gain subscribers, increase brand awareness, etc. Can you format the information in a table that I can export to Google Sheets. Both AIs came up with some really good ideas and both tables were well organized, but Bard gave the option to export all of the info into a spreadsheet with just one click. These integrations give Bard the upper hand compared to other AI tools. All right, now let's switch gears and dive into written content, starting with blogs. This is totally going in my blog. Blogging is an effective form of content because it's pretty straightforward, gets points across quickly, and allows you to engage with your audience in a more personal way. And for this one, I wanted to package together two prompts in one. First, I wanted blog ideas, so I entered the prompt, you are an expert in developing a hub and spoke content strategy for typical SEO clusters. I wanna create content around the main topic, digital marketing. Here are some subtopics, content marketing, SEO, email marketing, social media marketing, PPC. Give me 10 blog ideas that are likely to go viral. After getting my blog ideas, I wanted to build the outline. For this, I said, you are a proficient content planner. I'm writing a blog post with the title, insert title from blog ideas list. The main points are subtopic one, subtopic two, three, four, etc. The keywords are keyword one, keyword two, keyword three. Please create a detailed blog post outline. Both did a great job at coming up with ideas, but there was a huge difference between the outlines. ChatGPT gave me headers for each section and a couple of bullet points for each one, whereas Bard only gave me a couple of bullet points for the entire blog. So I'd have to give the edge to ChatGPT. We actually have a complete tutorial on our channel showing you how to write the perfect ChatGPT blog. So if you're ready to start writing, make sure to check it out. And while we're talking about blogs, this next prompt will be the secret weapon for taking them to the next level because it focuses on SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization and it refers to all of the practices and strategies used to make sure that your content is seen by as many people as possible. For this, I used the prompt, give me a list of informational, highly searched, long tail keywords that I can use to ideate blog posts for product or company. Both options were pretty good, but ChatGPT offers tools called plugins that specifically help with SEO. Basically, plugins provide ChatGPT with info that helps with specific tasks. So while both platforms gave me keywords to use, I gotta give the edge to ChatGPT. We just covered our favorite SEO plugins for ChatGPT in this video, so make sure to check it out. For the next prompt, I wanted to get some help with one of the most important marketing and newsletter tools email subject lines. If you take a look at your inbox right now, it's probably filled with tons of unread promotional emails, and it's possible that some of the emails you've sent are adding to someone else's overflowing mailbox. Crazy, right? But every once in a while, we'll come across a subject line that just gets us to click. So without it, all the effort you put into crafting the body of the email goes down the drain. So I wanted a prompt that could help me boost my email click-through rate. For this, I used the prompt, create an eye-catching subject line for my product slash business that specifically targets my target audience who want to the audience's goal or motivation. It should be specific tone and 20 to 60 characters or three to eight words long. After customizing it, both AIs gave me options that were clear and concise and would definitely get me to click. One less unread email, woohoo! And last but not least, we have our final prompt which focuses on brainstorming. Ever since ChatGPT and Google Bard hit the scene, AI has largely been used to brainstorm ideas. Because even though AI can lack details, it's pretty good at pointing you in the right direction. I wanted help brainstorming ideas for AI and marketing-focused content, so I used the prompt, topic, 
insert my topic. For the topic mentioned, brainstorm new ideas or approaches to discuss my topic that stands out from the rest of the content out there. Then list X number of ideas and create a hub and spoke model that I can then incorporate into a content calendar. ChatGPT gave me seven ideas and a bunch of bullet points for each one, but with Bard, it only gave me seven ideas. So here I'd have to give the edge to ChatGPT. All right, some of these ideas were actually pretty good, so expect to see some of them in our upcoming videos. So subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss it. Okay, that wraps up today's video on the best AI prompts for marketing and content creation. We here at AI Marketing and Creator Tools, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.